Hello, 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 everyone. How's everyone doing? Hopefully everyone's doing well. You know? I'm gonna be honest, I thought today was the, um, blood drive. No, that happens at the... That happens next month. At uh, this month. So sitting there, I go, oh no. Plus, guys, we got the new NVE update, so that's cool. You know, we got the new NVE update. Which is beautiful. For people that are wondering, this is what the reshade looks like. This is without. This is with. As you can see, I changed some of the things to be the immerse equivalent because the immerse is just it's it's just better. I don't feel like we need. I've noticed something. It has this weird kind of... Something I'm not too fond of. Yeah, let's see what zero looks like. So that's zero. Yeah, that's enough. Oh. Oh. The Freedom Raffle. Oh yeah, it's that day today. I might not even need a lot of things because of, uh... Oh my gosh. Let's see if there's anyone around. Where are they at? Oh! Wait a minute. Where's my... Nope, not that one. Ah. It's at the hospital. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, not many updates have happened. But there is a big update on Red M, which I'm really looking to see. I can't wait to check it out. I haven't- I, all I know is the patch notes. But I haven't actually seen any of it. So... You know, other than the trailer for it, like for the update. So I'm kind of sitting there like, I can't wait. But it was, it was the uh, major update.
Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't walk. On Red M, it's easy. Because everything is within a reasonable walking distance. You know? Okay. And it does and this and this and this and I still find it funny that technically I can have way more than this. Pretty sure I can have up to fifty of these things and I'm like I've said it. I'm like, I don't... I don't ever go through that much. I don't ever go through that much. Honestly, 4 is easier to reach. Because to reach three, I have to move my walking. I need my W button. That's... That's crazy. Actually, you know what? That's for our scrubs. Not that we need them. I'm confused, so did they actually change the shirts, or... Am I s just... Am I dumb? Hello? Hello? I'm having a cold coffee today because I thought I'd try. Hi, Joey. Forgive me, who is this? Oh. 
I don't know if it's just me, but do you sound different? Uh, you sound like a little choppy, so. Oh, never mind. For a second, you sounded different. What do you mean? Do you want the honest to God truth? Yes. Your voice was somewhat deeper for some reason for a second. Oh, uh, I don't know. Probably the radio fucking up. Reasonable. So you know that blood drive thing? Yeah. For a second, I thought it was today. No, uh, a lot of our stuff isn't starting until, um, the 30th yeah. or leading into August. I know, I realized that once, once I, um, once I emailed Sanders and he's like, I have a marked down for August. And I'm like, I look at the poster, I look at the DM, I'm like, Yep. You're right. Just me and my forgetful ass. <laughs> uh, also, we have, if you're up for it, a medical student. If you want to grab them and do some training down at Ocean while you're there. I could. Yeah, it's... Only if you want to. Like, I don't want our trainers being able to, like, burn themselves out, so. Oh, Angel, you forget. I can't get burnt out. Because I don't work as often as everyone else. Very true. You actually have a schedule, unlike the rest of us. That's how I retain my sanity. She's she she is right. It is it is how. It's true. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Max Grim. Okay, this is when I message him like, get your ass to ocean. No, I'm actually gonna say that. Get her. I won't. I know nothing about Max. Best case scenario, Ma Max is an independent person. Those are my favorite students because it means I don't have to watch them like a child. Those are my favorite. Less effort. How you doing? Hey, do Z. Okay, well, oh yeah, I gotta do our little, um... I gotta do the, uh, because I'm usually the only one that goes here anymore. Everybody always goes to Polito. So I can make sure the appropriate doors are locked. I heard, I heard someone didn't realize there was a I I saw early uh the other day last night actually. And apparently people forget there's hundreds of people that work here. I'm I'm constantly bumping into them, can't you tell? Are you sure? If I get in trouble, I'm blaming you. I'm just saying Hey, Angel. Wait, what? Uh, 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 I just wanted to get your attention. Need to tell you something. What's up? 
I was told to deliver a message from your uh, father in the cloud. He he says you're a uh, bozo. You can tell him he's a fucking bozo as well, because I fucking I'm gonna throw a shoe at him. There you go. I, I believe he's been informed. <laughs> That's all right. Why well, I I I was nice. I was nice to mess with you. Like, get over here. What kind of food are you preparing? What kind of food today? Uh huh. Bye. Bye, bro. Brrr. Fish, potatoes, all kinds of good stuff. Oh, I believe it. I believe it. Oh, you know what I have to do now? I have to be prepared. Okay, let's see. Student tracker. What does Max know? Please say Max has things done. Sink? Hey. Max needs... Can I just say, why did... I, I, I have to ask. Why... Why did we change the student tracker? There used to be certain things that were highlighted in red that were like, oh yeah, the, these are the ones you need to have completed. Like that was a lot more, I don't know. And I keep doing the thing. I said I'm gonna get try to get used to doing it this way. Grr. Are they actually here to get treated? Question mark. Let me take a wild guess and say you are up north. Yeah, no, I'm off duty. I'm big chilling. Um, by the um break, hanging out with some people. Okay, I'm gonna be radio silent while I deal with this person. Hello. Right, hello. Hello. I'll be in the back. It's just my left thigh. I just, uh, I tripped and fell. You tripped and fell? What did you fall on? Sand? There? I, f I fell off of the roof. You fell off a roof? It's, I, I know, I know. So, I don't know. I just tripped and fell off the roof. Does anything feel broken at all? Uh, I think it's my left thigh a little bit. It feels broken, it's just, or it just feels... No, it, it just bruises. Scraped just up bruised. and all. It's just bruised. Okay. One of these bruises are bleeding. Do you mind if I clean that up? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, I should be. We're just having fun. And, you know, we're... About, we were having a barbecue party. Mmm. I drank a little bit and I don't know what happened. Well, I'm assuming you're going to go back to that party after. Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah.
You gotta be careful when you're intoxicated. Yeah, I will be. I mean, not th not that you can really help it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, not, fu that's, not that's fully at least. To, yeah, that's what I was saying to them. They were like, "Oh, you, you, oh, why did you do that?" I don't know. That's when you just yell at them. I'm drunk. <laughs> exactly. Oh, thank you. Okay, there you go. Got everything all clean up. How's your head feeling? Any headaches at all or nah? Nah, nothing at all. It was just nah. my leg. Okay. But yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. You stay safe. Oh, my you too. The exit's this way, you dummy. What can you tell me about Max? Max Olsen? Max Grimm. Oh, um, she's generally, um, very, like, polite. She's minorly apprehensive with wanting to step in, but she's definitely trying and wanting to learn. Um, she does have skills and the information and everything to back it up. All it is is putting it into practice and getting it into repetition, so. I need that. Independence boost. Big time. Got it. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like the uh, common ducky fear of like, I don't want to do anything that's like out of my limits, so I'm going to wait for them to tell me to do it, and they're like, no, please take initiative. That's what we're writing them. Uh, this is going to be perfect for me when they get here. Cause you know me, I just kinda do things and then pay for the consequences later. I have too much confidence. It's true. I like the polar opposite as most dickies. It's like, can I do that now? It's like, can you? Yes. Should you? No. I, I believe in the policy of interfere uh, interfere once they mess up. The only way you can get them to do things on their own is by getting them to do things on their own. As simple as that sounds. Like, what are you gonna do? Uh, can, can I do this? I was like... Yes. It's either yes or no. Don't do that. That's not like I prefer the independent people. Okay, so stab wounds, BFTs, uh, fractures. Omoe salute. There we go. I think that was said nicely. Get your butt to, uh... Oh, well, I didn't say butt, but... <laughs> you know, it's just beside the butt. I, I did math yesterday, because I don't... I don't know. I was, I was feeling a little bored. And I noticed something. Better activity. But would you believe that our most active people are actually our EU people? We have more inactive NA people than we do EU people. Well, EU slash Oceania people. Clearly. E e EU times are just better. <laughs> I don't remember what the exact number I got was, but it's like... There's a lot of people that are... Actually not active. I 
I looked, and I only know that because I looked at her roster, and I'm like, oh, oof. Oh, you know what? Let's see. What kind of things can I focus on for them? M what can I focus on with Max? Uh. Oh. Oh, wait! I dealt with Max last time. I feel kind of stupid now. What happened? I just looked at my last trade report and um Max was the person I dealt with the last time. <laughs> like I say, sometimes it's like I'm meeting people for the second, third, fourth time every single time I see them. Yeah, but then again, I think me and you had like a good three shifts together before we like remembered who each other were. Yeah. I gotta be honest, I don't even recall how long it took exactly. Uh, okay. Let's see what kind of things. Okay, Max. Grim. Need supervision for... Jeez, W's, stab wounds, sprains. Wait, wait a minute. I'm looking at the wrong person. Jeez, W's. Repeat? Hong Kong. Hello! Hello! How do you? Doing alright, how are you? Not bad, not bad, you know. Not gonna lie, I was just looking at, uh... A student tracker for you to see what kind of things we'll get to work on. Which, <laughs> Fair enough. it's honestly the best time because the most we actually see is bruises. Oh. Oh. So people don't feel bad if we're not there. <laughs> Fair enough. That's what Nancy's there for. What do you think you have to work on? Based on your last time. question I know I already know someone told me you already know okay but I want you to do some critical thinking critical thinking okay 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 you know self-improvement is a good thing <laughs> oh hello hi but first we'll do with this person yep and by we I mean you all right, sounds good. So, uh, what happened? I think he. I think he hit something on his bike. Hmm. Again. Uh huh. Again. Just ask if you need help. I'll be here. Alrighty, well, let's take a look at you. 
see what's going on here. You said he yeah. fell off his bike? Or something? I lost control. Yeah. I lost control. control of my bike. You lost control? Do you feel... How's your pain? Uh, it's like a one, but my big toe hurts. Your big toe hurts? Okay, we can look at the big toe. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <sighs> See, that's why it's kind of it's easier to be on the right side. Oh, god oh. damn it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Your big toe is hurting. Let me see if it's swollen at all. Can I get a Hello Kitty bandage? We do actually <laughs> yes, have those, believe it or not. <laughs> Thank you. Surprised we don't run out with the amount of times I get requested. <laughs> of course. That is true, it, that is it's true. It's probably like 99% of my people that request it. And be honest, I wouldn't know. Your people. <laughs> yeah, you know. My my side, opposed to the other. Fair enough. Me. There's no shame in Hello Kitty Band-Aid. It makes you feel better. Of course. Real men wear pink. So I've heard. Too bad my, I have my pink on. But on Wednesdays we wear pink. E wait. I wanna look angry. They better kick those crutches out from underneath her. No, she needs to recover, man. And there what we happened? Go. Are you feeling uh, better? Yeah, I am. Something right. with her sister yesterday, and then she got treated here, and she's like coming to get physiotherapy. If you feel like you're, if you feel like you're good to get up, yeah, absolutely. Make sure you get the stuff from him that you need. All right, could I get your SS on real quick? Eight five two six. Eight, five, two, six. What, what name's right. associated with that, by the way? You're asking me? Yes. Jax Wilder. Okay. The one and only. The one and so, only. Who, who, who's, in, who's in crutches? Are you asking me? <laughs> what? Oh, Vanessa. Oh. Vanessa Munro. I thought you were asking me. I'm like, um, many people. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if your voice box is supposed to be like that, but it sounds very robotic-y. Okay, Just that's... Up. That's what they meant. Sounds like you have a sword throat a little... But yeah. Hello, hello, hello? Yeah, that would be bad. No, that would be really bad. Oh, I sound like I exactly? have a sore throat the still. Bike was that? Mm-hmm. Or okay, fair enough. Yeah, you know, I was going for a little cruise, and then I lost control in the dirt, and then I hit a sign. Those are always fun. Yeah, it happens to the best. To, oh my god, to the best of us, yeah. You're doing great. <laughs> I have faith in you. I appreciate you. it. I, I really, as soon as I heard him talking in the lobby that you're training, I wanted to give you a hard time, but I was going to be nice. <laughs> See, if you gave her a yeah, hard time, then I'd have to do with you. <laughs> no, that's alright. That's how you learn. That's you, can, right. you can ask anyone on the street. I'm the, I'm I'm the, broke, I'm, Mari, can I have a lo small I'm the brutally honest dollars? doctor. Listen, bro, I never make money. Oh my god. I have three loans to pay off. You're fine. Maybe Ben can help me with oh, that properly. I don't want to do this. Alright, let's go get your bike. Oh wait. <laughs> okay. Do you need anything else from me? Um. I just I I just ask one thing of you. Nope. You are absolutely good to go. Okay. Have a lovely day. Love yous. Have a good day. <laughs> you as well. Don't fall off your bike. I will. Just for you though. You will. Oh no. <laughs> you won't. Actually, I don't really know. A lot of people that come in here, you know, sometimes they come in here multiple times. It's like you were just here like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, so the reason I I usually ask them what the name is as well is that way they don't give a wrong SSN or they give someone else's SSN. 
to like cover up things. Because some criminals will do that. Oh, look at that. You took my advice of doing the whole save and then you have everything open. Nice. Okay, MDT usage. MDT usage is like one of the easiest things, in my opinion. Abrasions. Ooh. It's okay, that's a 13B. Meaning it was an accident. Don't worry, Angel. Oh, wait, you would have not heard it. Do I sound fine now? I don't know what they meant, but I sound weird. Like, I don't know if you're supposed to sound that way, but you sound very crackly. Like, to me, I sound fine. I wish there was a way you could test the way you sound. In game, but there is no way. Apparently, I sound crackly. Uh, <laughs> Hamana, 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 hamana. Hamana. Huh. Huh. Oh. Me, mama. Let's see how goes this report. What was that? I said, let's see how it goes this report so far. Okay. Okay. I'll give you time. And actually, because this is the first event that people check into, when I suggest this, we go out into the lobby. That way someone doesn't just get brought in and it's like, oh, hi, yeah, hi, yeah, we're just doing a report. Yeah, all right. We used to get stern talking, Stu, for uh, doing that. Gotcha. I mean, we can either go in the lobby, but that means if someone comes in, they might expect us to do something. Or we can go up there and sit on the couches while you write the report. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. It's not gonna take me too much longer anyways, so... Okay. So I won't, I won't lie, I do that sometimes. Nah, that's fair. I understand that. It's the one convenient part about this hospital. I can just go upstairs and people believe I'm not here. <laughs> it's funny, it's not even stairs. It's an escalator. But I have to go up myself. And depending on how well this report goes, I might just check you off on MBT usage. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the first person, like, I've actually... I think 
So I trained you last time, but I never actually... Like, yeah, we just what, kind of what, like, the MDT. Yeah, it was all just talking. It wasn't really any kind of you doing things. In the meantime, have you thought about uh, any, anything you think you should personally have some improvement doing? Uh, pu -pu -pu. I know that my main thing was kind of figuring out the, uh, I guess, the balance, kind of getting the feel of uh, what people want so to speak, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Kind of having, finding that balance between the more uh, things that I see and the things that are in front of me. Mm -hmm. uh, something, uh, asking someone what's wrong versus just, you know, closely looking at them. Mm -hmm. And also just, uh, wait, but, but, but kind of Knowing what I'm doing and mm -hmm. I guess uh, how I treat things and then how I write reports with that kind of filling in the blanks, so to speak, if that makes sense with certain situations. Kind of. Kind of makes sense. Is it to, it sounds like just a normal kind of regular ducky kind of thing where. Essentially, once you get confident enough doing it... Because you're probably doing fine. But you don't feel like you're doing fine. <laughs> it do be like that sometimes. It's like, we could have done better at that. It's like... What do you mean? You did well. I can't really complain about anything you did earlier. Do you think you could have done anything better with that last uh, patient? I could think of like one thing, but at the same time, it was kind of like a small little thing. Yeah, so little things matter. What was it? Yeah, it's just uh, the way I maybe communicated a thing or two that I did a bit better before just, you know. Oh. It might seem like a little thing, but here's the thing. What really determines what something when something is a little thing and a big thing? Good question. That, that, that's the thing. Sure. That's why it's like... <laughs> see? Critical thinking. Yeah. I guess what I need to like kind of like focus on is uh, the way I kind of... I was kind of used to things is like... Just kind of doing things instead of like... Vocalizing kind of what I'm doing. I kind of need to work on that. I was very much used to just, like, doing it. Uh, just puts the band-aid on. Doesn't say you're gonna put a band-aid on. Yeah, kind of, kind of deal, yeah. Not trying to scare you, but there will be people that, like, will, on occasion, if you just kind of treat them, but don't say anything. Yeah. They'll be like... And this is, this is what I mean by I'm the, I'm the blunt one. They'll just be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, no, I definitely, uh, that's something I need to uh, remember. Because here's the thing, right? Remember, they decided to come here. But that doesn't mean they necessarily want you to treat everything that happened to them. Exactly. I've had it where people come in with... Uh, I'm trying to think what it was. But es essentially, they had, like, one major injury. Which was like, well, you can't really say I'm not going to do anything about it. And then they had a couple bruises. I told them, okay, I, ca I can do this, and I can do this. They said they didn't want me to treat the bruises. Do you think I treated those bruises? No. No. Yes. Yeah. No, I did not. Do you know yeah, why I didn't fair. treat those bruises? Because you had bigger things to worry about. No, because case. they did not consent to having those treated. Oh. Just because yeah. they come okay, in. Okay, that's fair. Just because they come in to get treated. Does not necessarily mean they want every little problem they have treated. Ok, 
Okay. I got it. Consent, it's a wonderful thing. Yep. <laughs> sure is. Okay, well, let's uh let's look at this and see how badly you messed up, I'm kidding. No no. I need the criticism. Okay. I'm actually going to use what how I write my reports as a reference, because, believe it or not, I have an actual template that I use when I do most of these, nice. so... And, this, and, and my template's based on, like, trial and error of just being like, this is my report. I've had, like, three to four iterations of this template. Uh, okay. Airway, clear, noise. You put the breathing, circulation, skin, proud. Good for you. <laughs> oh, AVPU. F-poo. F-poo. Yeah, F-poo. Uh, PT was brought in with minor bruising to legs and feet. I have a suggestion so far. Yes. But I'm gonna go oh, through the rest of it before I say anything, just in case. Okay. I'm not going to mention the fact you misspelled the Parisian. Oh, well, oh, I guess I, I did. Know. Whoops. I'm gonna go fix it. You spelled it right the first time? I mean, I, wait. Oh. A B B. Found it. <laughs> and, and then, yeah. Anytime you've spelt abrasion, you either were missing a B, and then, well, I'm pretty sure you noticed the uh, diagnosis misspelling. Yup. But hey, it wasn't a big enough mistake that it was like, I do not know what the hell this is. <laughs> Could have been a much worse spelling mistake. Ooh. Uh -oh. Nope, that's a chase. That's fine. Okay, so... Something yes. that I would mention, that I might mention here, is... Oh. I love that we're right next to a highway. <laughs> Okay, so for your secondary assessment, uh, you can actually shorten that, by the way. Okay. So, like, remember how I told you... I don't remember what it was, but remember last time I trained you, I kind of said, like, with the secondary assessment, you can keep it pretty brief. Like, it's a head-to-toe mm -hmm. assessment. Yeah. So, what you can kind of do there is instead of having to put it in a full sentence, this is something that took me a while to learn as well, by the way. I used to be the same person that would write in full sentences. It's not necessary, but it will save you time. <laughs> so something you could have done, which is more of a, not really a mistake, but more of a suggestion to save time. Uh, you could have just put legs colon and then whatever the injury was so like it would be like pretty sure i can actually edit it to show you for example
Although I realize I have to, uh, because he fixed it. Oh, so you still misspelled imperation, by the way. Oh my double, god. Double B. What? Yeah. Well, apparently. I'm actually gonna... You know what? I'm actually gonna look that up because I, I, I swear it is 1B, but according to our tracker, I, it's 1B. Double B? Yeah. Where the hell did I put it? No, the double no apparently B. it's supposed to be double B, but I don't believe that. No, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> I can tell you... You know what I'm gonna tell you right now? You actually did spell it right. It is 1B. In the student tracker, it's wrong. Huh. That means that's been wrong for a while. Oof. Fun. Okay, so I'm gonna save this and I'll show and then you'll see what I mean. Okay. Do you see what I did? Let me take a look. Yep. Okay, so the only reason the line's there, by the way, is that way it's... It separates what you put from what I put. Mm -hmm. But you see how much shorter it is? Yep. But it still gets the point across? True, true. The idea is that... If we have to, if we ever have to go back to this report, we can just quickly look at it. And be like, okay, this and this. Instead of having to read all of it, yeah. Pretty much. That's what I suggest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove that so you can do that yourself. But that's really the only suggestion I have. Treatment, oh, yes, that can that can be in sentence form, because mm -hmm. I mean, hey. I will say, I'm usually a bit more detailed with the vital section. Mm -hmm. But hey, if they have like f all their vitals are. Perfectly fine. I can see why it's not really needed. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking, because I do have a little, also like a little, what is it, template for the vitals, but I figured because it's so, you know, in this particular situation, it just I'm gonna be, like... I'm gonna be real honest. When it comes to people that come in with bruises, we tend to put a lot less effort into writing their report. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. That's like a very normal thing. Mm. Yeah. So, so it's nothing to uh, scream into a pillow about. <laughs> fair enough. I'm fine with it. But hey, if they, like I said, if they have mm -hmm. all perfect vitals, hey. But, um, I would say if you really wanted to, even though a lot of people don't take advantage of it, uh, if you wanted to, you could technically add in more tags related to the actual injuries itself. Like, you could add the bruising. I don't know if there's an abrasion one. There is no abrasion one. I think it's because it's kind of under the same thing as... it's kind of the same thing as that bruise but hey sure. yeah yeah put that in i hear an ambulance oh yep there be an ambulance <laughs> bam other than that it's only uh, yep and they they apparently can't try photo my hearing <laughs> we're not gonna mention that to them I mean, I might, 
depending who it is. Depends if they they can take a joke. Fair enough. Let's see. Oh, you'll notice that's a thing I do, by the way. When I train people. I try to get you to do all the work. Builds up your confidence. No, no, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Not because- it's not like because you're- learning. I'm lazy. Keep in mind. No. It is- it is completely because of, hey, you're the one learning. I already have the experience. Sure, sure. And there's no way to learn other than pushing someone in the deep end. <laughs> oh. Now you've got a point. Um, oh. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna... I think... Okay, we're, yeah, we're gonna local that man. And then we're gonna deal with the... Him. Or her. Critical coming in, Joy, unconscious, uh, vitals are dropping. She's got a metal shrapnel coming out of her right side towards the lung area. No oh. activity coming from the right lung. That's wonderful. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Mm -hmm. No pain meds given, of course, unconscious. O2 stats from me left for 85% and her BPM is climbing. Wonderful. Yeah, she was at 44 BPM, but it's slowly increased since then. What did this all stem from? Uh, a plane that decided to go boom. Oh. Oh, uh, upon Casa de Julia, a plane fell and had a cruiser, blew a cruiser up, blew her up. Oh. Is it just one or is it two? It's just, it's just the one, it's just Lexi. Okay. Uh, the guy I brought in was a vehicle accident. He only had two bruising and a little bit of road rush. Okay, we'll get local and look at that one. So that way I can work with her to look at the more critical one. Which one was he that you brought in? Guy. Was that the one at Harvey Cab or was that the one at uh, Clear Vista? He was Harvey. He was the one at Harvey. Okay. Yeah. So I'm he's the less that's critical okay. one? Yeah, yeah, he's the less critical one. Okay. Noises. If Lexi cool. can get uh, medical attention, that would be great. Hi. Oh, where they at? Over here. Uh, if you want to get all the like uh, the information you need first, uh, I'll be back over here. I'm just gonna let them know that Doctor Locale is dealing with them. Go. Cool. Okay. You got this. All you gotta do is ask the basic questions first. You got this. I will be Hey, just letting you know that uh. We're busy, so uh, you're, you're getting helped out by uh, Nurse Nancy, okay? Wonderful. I'll just add my what I did to the comment. Yes, ma'am. Since then, it seems pretty clear for right now. Uh, on site, uh, pulse was low, about 44 beeps, beats per minute. Uh, O2 stats were about 80%. Established an MPA. Stats rose about 85%. MPA uh, we have an meaning. IV. Nasopharyngeal airway. Okay, just... Sorry, Victor. I'm sorry. I'm used to using... <laughs> um, gosh darn it. Uh, it started an IV. Uh, IV <laughs> saline TXA. She was bleeding blood. quite heavily through her bandages. <laughs> Pushed atropine sulfate to increase blood, or not blood pressure, uh, to increase pulse. Mm -hmm. Sorry, they're talking to me. Uh, Ignore the right them. lung seemed to be, <laughs> it's really hard when they're like so loud sometimes. Uh, right lung seems to not be rising. Potential pneumothorax, not 100% sure, but no, no, I don't, I, it, so it could I don't want that. surgery. Uh, we did not remove the shrapnel. We left it in place, looked like it's metal. Uh, we just wrapped bandages around it to try to protect it. No! Other than that, uh, her burns were taken care of. I'm not sure what degree burns they were, because uh, I just arrived on scene just a little bit after them. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
uh, BPM was rising uh, upon transport as we were heading here. I'm not sure what it's at now, but it was still steadily cry uh, climbing when I was checking on her. And you said one of the lungs is kind of... The uh, right lung. Right lung's being all weird. Uh, it's not rising or anything. Uh, but the shrapnel's also on that side, so it might have clipped it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, big fun one. <laughs> Just trying to train someone, man. Sorry. I mean, hey, it's not your phone. I don't know why you're apologizing. I, I don't know. I just, you'll learn that I just do it for no reason. Don't they say people don't choose their injuries? They just kind of happen. Yeah, I don't think she chose this at all. <laughs> I don't think she was expecting this because it kind of looks like it just, <laughs> it, it, I don't know. It was like a rogue. I don't know. Okay. Did you get everything well, you need on your end? Let's see if she knows what she needs on her end. I wouldn't know. I can't. I can't criticize safer. I don't know what they need. I know they need an SSN. It's pretty much it. Oh, I already know who it is, so it's fine. Oh, beautiful. It's like. Do you do you, do you need do you need happiness in your life? Uh, always. Okay. D can you handle a joke? Yes. Okay, now get the fuck out of my ER. <laughs> oh, darn you. You said you could take a joke! I know. I wasn't expecting it to be that. That's alright. You got me there, though. But it's fine. I can get down. It's okay. It's your ER. Technically, it's Callahan's, but just hey. let me know. If you just need anything, let me know. Uh, just shoot me an MDT message if uh, you need anything. It'll be Fire 18, so. Yeah, don't ever say that to patients. They'd be asking for your number. Oh, I tell them my number's 911, so it's okay. Ah, you know what? Correct. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is going to be a fun one. Yeah, looks like it. Me medically speaking, Where do we fun. start? Yep. Okay, so let's take a look at them vinyls. Let's get them vinyls all. We also gotta get a look at that lung. Gotta take a look at the shrapnel. Let's also figure out, and what, what I'll get you to look at is try to figure out if the, what those degrees of burns are. I'm going to take a look at these shrapnels. All right. yep. See how big it is. How big the shrapnel is, I should, I should say. Someone's probably, you know, giggling about that now that I've said that. But hey, it's all giggling in their subconscious, so it's fine. Me be forgetting. Okay. Alright, so you do five, which is yeah. Oh two levels are a bit up. Okay. Shrapnel sticking into the right upper lobe of the lung, pink hum. Yeah. I don't look too great. To be honest, I really hope we don't have to go into the surgery room. Yeah, let me take a look at these burns. Let me see. Okay, uh... Pink foaming blood from lung. Also remember, no passing out. Because then I have to do this all by myself. <laughs> yeah, these burns look really bad. Mm. Definitely. 
possibly third degree. This is not going to be fun. Was it being pink? <laughs> Uh, I've ever said that I'm not really fond of doing surgeries or helping with them. It's okay, I have to be more confident than you right now. That's me. Looking sure I see the location of them. Next one, like to see if how many of them we have here. Um, what I would start getting done is I would start getting some some burn and burn bandages on those. Uh, the burns are probably not helping with the breathing either. So, her biggest problem right now is 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 that lung, yeah, absolutely. which is being affected by mm -hmm. burns, burns, as well as one lung not working. Mm -hmm. She probably inhaled some of that too, possibly. With the whole crash. Inhaled what? Fumes? Yeah, fumes, things like that. <laughs> uh, could be removed easily. Let's see if I can even get this shrapnel alone. If it can be removed easily, that's great. If not, <laughs> oh, wonderful, it's loose. You know what that means? Well, maybe. Yep. That means it hasn't fused to her. We should be glad that she got here in the time she did. If it was fused, it would have sucked. <laughs> I'm about to. T I'm just gonna tell you this. This bed is not gonna be clean. Absolutely not. No. Burn the sheets. So. I'm gonna do something. The machines might start beeping. Okay. But that is because I'm removing... I'm gonna try to remove the shrapnel. So I can get a closer look. What's going on inside? Mm -hmm. And we best hope... That I can get it fixed in a decent amount of time. So she doesn't just bleed out on this bread. Bed. Not bread. Well, um, have you- have you dealt with those, uh, burns yet? Uh, yeah. I've got some bandages on them. I'm... unsure if there's anything else I should do on them. Okay, so what I'm gonna kinda need from you is, when I remove this, I want you to make sure... B basically, she's gonna be bleeding a lot when I remove this. And I want to make I want you to make sure it stays clean, so I can take a look at what's going on inside. Right. So, do you want me to flush the wounds? Do you want me to suction uh, anything? Uh, what we can do is um, we can. We'll see when we get there. It's pro. Be prepared for either a suction or a flushing, depending on how. 
the blood is. So if... Okay. If it's just kind of leaking, like a like like a river, kind of, if that makes sense, like the blood flow is kind of like a river, that then all that's kind of needed is cleaning, well, flushing. Probably won't require both, let's be honest. Like I said, just be ready for both, just in case. Okay. Okay. Begins to slowly remove the shrapnel. Okay, we're gonna slowly... Like I said, the, the machine start might start beeping, so I don't get all... Oh, oh, there we go. If we could get a, uh... Okay, yeah. If we can get that clamped... Yeah, that was expected. That's me. Great, yeah, we'll work on that real quick. Uh, takes a look at the source of the bleed. Look at this! Oh, uh, did you see exactly where it was bleeding? Uh, it, I'm pretty sure it just exactly where you would... Where you pulled out the shrapnel, it just started, like, okay. knowing it's from, yeah. It was probably just me, uh, uh because, because... Because, because I was when I was pulling it out. Mm -hmm. well, speaking of which, I'm just gonna put that on the side here. You know, let's take a look at this little lung. Hopefully, it's probably been punctured. It's always better to go in with a worst case scenario. If a uh, ding. Lung has been punctured. Hmm. Quarter of an inch. That's that's wonderful. Could be worse though. Still, I'm I'm going to start uh, trying to uh, suture this. So bear with me. Uh, can you check your vitals in the meantime? Yeah, definitely. Just a quick glance. Seems like they're they're improving. Good. Yeah. We're gonna use them fancy sutures. Only we don't have to remove them later. Did you know there's multiple kinds of sutures you can use? I don't know the exact name for them, but they're like the, uh, they're, they're like the fancier ones, so, like, essentially, we won't have to go back in there. They'll just... The ones that dissolve? Is it... Yeah, the dissolvable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure that... I'm not sure if... Cause that way we, no, no way, we don't have to, you know, go back in there later. Like, okay, now I gotta remove the things. Mm -hmm. well, let's see if that's helped with her breathing even slightly. Glances. 
Nice, nice. Look at that airflow. Is it real fighting at all? Yes. You wanna, you wanna take a look? Like I said, no vomiting. Or passing out. <laughs> no. I have a <laughs> stomach for these things. See, see? See how it's kind of like expanding and then mm -hmm. it's getting smaller and then bigger? Yeah. Yep, see? Yep. They're both doing that, so that's a good thing. Yeah. If they match, that's good. You know what the thing is? We could have technically done this in a surgery room if we really wanted to, but hey. I mean, it's the way I see it, let, let's, you know, if we don't move her around, then the easier it is. But I can get yelled about that. And yell that later for that. Uh, shrapnel. Just gonna make sure there's no other shrapnel anywhere that shouldn't be there or any foreign objects. Ah, you know what? That's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna call them foreign objects from now on. Because if someone walks by and they're just like, there's a foreign object in this person, it's like, hello, what? <laughs> it's like, what do you mean? They, they... Did, did you know that technically a, uh, a paper cut's considered a foreign object being in you? Really? Yep. Because paper entered your body when you got a paper cut. Yeah. You can't really say if you've gotten a paper cut that you've never had a foreign <laughs> object enter you. Oh, okay. Did you find anything? I'm not seeing anything wrong with her lung anymore, so we're gonna okay. mm -hmm. That's good. We're gonna take a back step and we're gonna uh, now start closing that up because I don't see anything else wrong with her lung anymore. Uh, can you check that shard quickly on her neck? Yeah. See, who, see, see what's going on with him. Now let me take a look, see if it's deep in there, if it's more of a surface thing. Because if it's not that deep, it should be fine. Should I try removing it? Does it look like it's hit any arteries or yeah, anything? Yeah, double check it. It doesn't seem too deep, but... No, it's nowhere near one, so it should be fine, I think. So mostly just nerve... nerves yeah, the content, I guess. Surface thing. Okay. Should I try removing it? Are you confident removing it? Uh, I can see it does seem to be more of a surface thing, so I. Okay, what I'll say. Mm -hmm. If you want to try removing it, try to remove it yeah. as soon as you need help. Let me know. Okay. I am almost done okay. closing. I, I'm basically done closing this. There we go. I'm done closing. Let's see if you can try to remove it. I'll take a look at the vitals in the meantime. Yeah. Try to take this out. Yep. To surface level. Well, if you want to also get that sutured, that'd be beautiful. Don't know who that was. Yeah, 
it's like it's like suturing and it's, it's it's like stitching fabric it's just like no it's not Either way, she is bad news. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and bandage the neck. She's gonna be stuck in a bed for a little bit. Oh, that's for sure. Beautiful. Alright, how's the uh, closing up going? Oh, I finished it. Wasn't that hard? See, some people would freak out if the machines going all like start beeping all out of a sudden. But if you know why it's beeping, it's nothing to worry about. Yeah. Fair enough. Maybe it just knows the vitals. See, and that's why I think out loud. Cause that way you know why I'm thinking that way. Mm -hmm. So I was like, as soon as I take this thing out, be warned, the machine's probably gonna start going off. Yeah. But as soon as we get that all good, the machine should go back to normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but also very much stable there, improving. Good, good. How you feeling? Feeling good. Good. Not too stressed out? No. Honestly? Uh, once we got into it, it, yeah. I'm just focused on the thing at hand. Wonderful. Okay, uh, let's see if there's anything else to worry about. So you got those burns all good, we got the lung working. Mm -hmm. Um, we got that shard out of her neck. I'm just glad it didn't hit the in, any arteries, because then yeah, that would that'd be squirt, that would be uh, annoying. Another little fountain. Uh... Yeah, it'd have been a squirter. It would have been easy, depending on which artery it was, but... Yeah, but still. If it was the carotid, then it would be annoying as hell, because we'd have to deal with that in less than a minute. Quick, yeah. You hit that carotid, you're screwed. 90% of the time. But you know what? We were ready. Okay. So, and do you see anything? I'm not. I'm not really seeing anything. Um, let me just take okay. another glance over. See if there's anything missed. Wonderful. What do you think would be a good amount of time for her to be in the, uh, IUC, I, the ICU for? Oh, that's a good question. Um, considering. Considering collapsed lung and the third degree burns. Mm hmm. Probably a while, but I'm not really sure on the, uh, Throw a number out there. I'm gonna tell you less than a lot, probably less Another than a week. week. Okay, a week. That that'll be the time span. Yeah. That'll give you. Mm -hmm. Do you think she'll need a week at most? I think. Uh, or less than. Hmm. 
I know, critical week, thinking, it's a wonderful thing. Yeah, no, a week seems about... Actually, I don't know. I would guess a week. Just a week. I'd, I'd say a week's fine. I'd say check, check, like, in a couple days, see how she is, if she's mm -hmm. fine. Because, keep in mind, we only have a limited amount of beds, we don't want to keep her in here forever, and I'm pretty sure she doesn't want to stay in here forever. Nobody does, it's a hospital. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we'll check, we'll check in a couple days, and, uh, if she's all good, we can let her go out. Online duty. Yeah. And then check again. And then, you know. Fair enough. But if she's not improving, then then we probably keep her and keep her the whole week. Mm -hmm. But yes. Sounds about right. I would say you're right. Like a week at most. Yeah, hopefully. Well, even though it seems like it was a collapsed lung, and then there was a couple burns, it's still... It's not something that she'll be, she'll be here for like a month. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. So, uh... Let's see, let's get her on a stretcher. So we can get her up there. Does she want a private room? Hmm. I see. I'm gonna glance at her for a second, see if she's the type of person to be in a private room. Hmm. Hmm. She does seem like the type to want a private room. Yeah. Yeah. You know. She has a range where she needs a private room. Yeah. You know. Probably with an ocean view. Yeah, definitely. Okay, let's see if we can get her out of this bed. <laughs> have you ever used a uh, stretcher before? I haven't, but I Okay, haven't. in no time I like the present to learn. <laughs> Fair enough. On the goal. You wanna push it? Yes. Let's go. There you go. Uh, make make sure you don't you know do anything that yeah, might make her. Too much, yeah. Oh, stretcher is little. Oh yeah, these things are. Oh, they're wide. <gasps> they're very wide. I'm gonna I'm gonna close that. Oh, she d she probably can't see anything right now, by the way. Gotcha. I mean, not that she can't anyway. She's kind of unconscious, but I feel yeah. like her unconscious. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, so you gotta, uh... when you turn, you gotta be ready to turn prior to when you want to turn, actually. It's like driving a trailer. <laughs> Which I guess is not a great point of reference. If you've never driven a trailer. <laughs> yeah, I've driven one. <laughs> Very much feels like that. I wonder if her, uh... If her dreams are dark right now. Or if she's imagining watching, walking through here. Private rooms. Uh, I'm gonna check before we go into a room if there's any rooms okay. available. That way you don't have to sit there and fadangle with her. Yeah, she's a very she, she does not have a very active imagination. I can see her eyes fluttering. She ain't dreaming about it, doesn't. Nope. My, my, Knocked out. Uh, no. When I say she's not dreaming about nothing, it means you have to do something to make sure she, she can dream. Uh, nope, oh, not this room. There's someone in this room. Okay. Oh, someone in this room, too. 
God damn. Anyone in this room? Holy hell, this is a lot of people. Eh, you know what? It's Graves. She'll be fine. It's it's <laughs> so semi it's semi private. Semi private, okay. She's with fellow officers, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> then we can get her on that bed, get her all hooked up, get the paperwork yeah. on the and the thing. And we can start getting ready to report. Either one works. I feel like she'd she'd enjoy waking up to a view of water. Yeah. Okay. So how do I prepare uh, the? Uh... So, I'll show you the other way of doing it. It's okay. She's unconscious. She can't tell. She can't tell what we're doing. <laughs> it's probably not the healthiest thing to say, but hey. So what you can do? A little secret. Yeah. If, if you put her on the stretcher. You can actually transfer him, her from the stretcher to, to that thing. Oh, I can? Okay. Yep. Good to know. So if she's on the stretcher, you can... Mm -hmm. ...basically transfer him from the stretcher. Gotcha. Okay, let's get all the things set up. I'll, yep. I'll, I'll, I'll get the uh, paperwork placed in there, and then you can get the vital... <laughs> ...or hooked up to all the machines, which requires you to be on the... That's side, by the way. <laughs> I'm nice, I promise. You promise? Maybe. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> um, who is this? I'm trying to think of her first name. I know it's Winters. Hmm, which Winters is this? Is this the better Winters? It is Lexi Winters, I didn't know it. It's the better Winters, got it. Yes. Yep, there you go. But she never heard me say that, so it's fine. Sure. <clears throat> Anyways, yep. What do you mean? You're just you're just putting IVs in here. Yeah. Doesn't I require know. spelling. Listen, I, my notes, I can't spell in my notes at all. I just remember, <laughs> I remember that report I made, yeah. Still got you stressed out? God. <laughs> that was a while ago. Okay, we're gonna say... Wait, what did you say her first name was? Just the first letter. Lexi L. Eh? Hmm. Six seven five zero three. Uh, scene remove. Six seven. 503. I realize I used the really dark ink on that pen. It's not good. I didn't write it very big. Okay. Okay. Al. Winters. We're gonna go. Wait, she's a ranger, right? She is, yes. Rangers are green, right? Their color's green. They are green. I'll do green ink. Yeah. She'd probably appreciate it. Beautiful. I just had to there find the pen. Yeah, green pens are I have, here. I, uh, yeah, I have them, uh, spectrum pens. Oh, you have one of those, you know, um, 
God damn it, what are they called? When it's a single pen, but... Yeah, know, it's a single pen, but it has, like, it. God knows how many colors on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's figure out what room this is in. Also, I'm gonna take this, because this is... Even though it's technically the hospitals, but hey... She'll be fine. She'll be okay. Do you want to write the report? Or yeah. Do you want me to write the report? Yeah, I can write the report. I need the practice. Facts. Look at that. See? See? You got confidence. <laughs> no, I'm actually excited about more complicated reports. Not just a bruising <laughs> one. <like> fun. Yeah. <laughs> Not just the bruising one. Okay, Ward 1 12. Okay, uh, you know what? We can go into the, uh, we can go this way. We can just be in the upstairs while we, while you, while you get that all sorted. Alright. Luxie Winters. Mm -hmm. I don't get the overnight document there. Uh, so I put in, I would put, if I were you, under the additional information, she's going to be there for at most a week. Okay. But check in a couple days. Gotcha. So, just one more question I have before I write the report. Yes. So, the vitals that I write down, am I supposed to write down the ones she came in with, or the ones yes. we kind of... Okay. Good. Yeah, this makes sense. Papa. I'm going to have to think about something real quick, and I will... Don't think too hard. Board. Nope, not too hard. Just a little bit. Okay. Let us... And I will work on the report. Wow. That's going to be fun. Okay. Mm. Ward 112. Lexi Winters. I can't really say recovering from anything, because she's not recovering from... Oh, well, she technically is. I guess. In a sense, she is. Okay. Yeah, I would very much make sure you do the whole uh, the save method before you get it all yep. done because, um, yeah. I can see the waves are picking up. <laughs> There's a storm of ruin. Yeah, definitely. So, what would I this label as as a, in the chief complaint? Just NVA? A helicopter hit her, right? Or a plane. I think it was a plane. Did they say she was just driving while this happened? Uh, I am unsure. Okay. That you can recall? What ha- Wait. When the, what did this all stem from? All I heard was something about her getting hit by a plane. Yeah. That's all you I know heard, what? too. I, 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 then I just put hit by a plane. Okay. Or plane accident. It technically was a plane. There was a plane involved. It was not True. on purpose. So technically it was a plane accident. There you go, short and concise plane accident. I... I also have to make sure I get your uh, student tracker stuff up to date. 
Because I'm assuming this report's not going to be a short report. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I love these reports. Because it means I'm probably going to have to get on later and look at it. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, seven. Oh, three. Okay. Uh, don't worry about the overnight occupant thing. I will get that all beautiful. Okay. I already forgot what room it was. Um. L-E-X-I? But yeah, so the, the reason the vitals are always- I mean, the, uh... The vitals and all that stuff are always based on when they first arrive. Is because if you do it based on afterwards... Yeah, it's always gonna be like... Oh, it's like, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. did anything happen? <laughs> Everything kind of it, but it's like a sandwich, kind of. A little bit, but usually you don't start with the top bun. It's a reverse sandwich. A reverse sandwich, okay. I mean, actually, now I think about it, it's kind of like a- it's kind of like a sandwich, because you, you start with you start with the 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 bun, and then, and then everything, and then you do everything in between, and then you end with a bun or bread. Yeah, not a bun, bread or toast, depending. Ah, it was... she was in a vehicle, based on what I'm seeing. Because, uh... Okay, so she just, like, the person... so the conveniently... Air? the person conveniently... that... Uh, wrote the report... I mean, the, the person from Safer that dealt with her... is actually one of the competent ones. So, um... Yeah, he has, like, so a whole detail on it. He put MVA. MVA, so I would put MVA. Okay. To keep it consistent. So apparently, um, she was struck by a fallen aircraft, causing her vehicle to explode. Yeah, I'd consider that an MBA. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm just dramatic, that's why I would be like, plane accident. Uh, I gotta go check what room it was in, because I forget, unless you remember. 112, I believe? 112? Are you sure of that? I'm pretty or sure. Or should I check? Double check. Okay. Double check, go ahead. <laughs> I was like, um... Are you sure? Are you sure about that? One twelve question mark? One twelve. One twelve. What one twelve? One one two. Good news, Ducky. 
was I right? You were right. Nice. The other convenient part about a ducky, if I forget something, I always have someone else, just in case. Uh, hog. You're not gonna be happy. Uh, so no, 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 no. MDT. Uh. -huh. You know what, actually, technically, if, if the idea is that we have God knows how many people working at a given time, I don't have to write. Oh, yeah. All Saha staff is currently busy at the moment. Oh. It's Since it's getting to that time, I'm gonna start talking to you right now if you write this report. Alright. So, I don't know how that report's gonna end. I'm probably gonna quickly check it after storm just to be just be sure. Even though usually I'm not around after storm as yeah, you gotcha. are well aware at this point, hopefully. Um and I'll just take a look at it and if you really want, I can email you telling you what I think of it. Or I can quickly go over it with you, but, like, the thing is, I don't plan to stay around, so... Gotcha. Yeah. That's okay. I don't mind. Uh, I'm just wondering. I hope I can get it finished before the storm hits. But if I don't, is it okay if I just, you know, get back in, finish it up, and just... Uh, yeah. I can, like, send it to you or something like that? Through emails, and you can... Uh, you don't have to send it to me. I'll probably check oh, it. Okay, just finish it. You can... So you can check it whenever, yeah. If you want, if you want to email me, just email that you finished the report on X person, and then I can. Oh. Okay. Sure. Then I can quickly get in, take a look, and be like, okay. If that yeah. makes you feel better. <laughs> no, it's totally fine. I just, you know. I wanna like mess up and it's like bad. What do you mean? You've been doing fine <laughs> all day. You've been good all day. I appreciate it. You, you didn't throw up or pass out on me, so. Fair enough. I, I say that's a that's a good thing. There we go. Yeah, other than that. Um. Pe people have said that you tend to not be very um. Put in, put the initiative in, if that makes sense, to do th try to do things on your own. But I mean, like personally, I haven't. Then again, I was kind of pushing you to do it yourself, so. <laughs> Good. I was never like, do you need help with that? I was just like, if you need help, let me know. That's yeah. how I typically work. Uh, I'll, depending on how this report goes, I'll probably mark you off as being good on the MTT use. Um, might mark another couple things off. Um, thing is, the major thing we dealt with was a, uh, uh I, I can't really call it a surgery. <laughs> But you know, it was it was close to a surgery, close. Definitely on the line of a. Uh... 
It was on that weird gray line of being very close to one, but not really. It was enough of a quote-unquote not surgery that I could do things without a local surgeon. But it was enough that I would say you probably learned a lot of things out of just that one thing. Yep. Sure did. Like I said, I prefer to people uh, I prefer people to get thrown in the deep end to learn, so I guess that kinda helped. <laughs> yes. If you're in that deep end, you, you swam. I didn't even have to say many times, like, hey, did you check this? Did you check this? It's mostly just things I'd say to other people, which is just, can you check this? Can you is different than did you. Can you? <laughs> yeah, true. Did you means you should have, but you didn't. Can you implies, hey, I wouldn't mind if you do this, but it's up to you. Like I could have checked the shrapnel in the in, in in the neck, but I'm like, I mean, you said, I'm like, oh, hey, you do you? That's initiative. I like people with initiative. Makes my life easier. Fair enough. Duh. Not lazy. Keep in mind. Yes, I prefer competent no, people. Very different. People I don't have to babysit. Okay. Things to focus on. Okay, um... Uh, just to quickly confirm, you said you're gonna probably get quickly on duty to finish that report, or should you be good not clocking on duty to quickly write that report? Like, how how much more do you have to write? Like, you're uh, talking like a couple minutes? Okay, so, uh, let me actually check how much we have to swarm. It's like four minutes. Uh, but, 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 I will, it's gonna be like, if I don't finish it, I'm gonna need very little time to quickly end it up. And so it'll be like so, less than a couple minutes. Like not enough yeah, it's to not, it it's not be, it wouldn't be worth you clocking it clocking over. In, yeah, no, okay. it wouldn't be worth it. Yeah. Cool. Cause the thing is I'm just double checking because you're not supposed to clock in unless there's a training yeah, around. No. But I'm like no, no, no. eh, you should be able to access your tablet while not on duty, so and if you only have a couple minutes, hey. Let's be honest, you'd probably only be missing like a couple dollars. Yeah, it's fine. It's like pocket change. For money anyways. <laughs> I'm not doing it for money anyways. Are you gonna say that you're do doing it to help people? You said you're not doing it for money, so I just went with the second most common reason. Um... Uh, I guess that would be <laughs> probably the most second common reason, yeah. Oh, the most- no, no, by a long shot, the most common reason is money. Money? Yeah, no. I'm sure it is. Plus all, you know, the benefits and all that stuff. Guaranteed income. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm like, it's only guaranteed income if you don't mess up. Dude, okay. <laughs> it's better than doing it for money. I can't hear a thing. Uh, is she participating in a...
major. Well, like I said, I'll check it once you're done it, and then, uh, yep. should be good. Other than that, you did well. Keep up that confidence. We like to see that. Well, initiative. We'll, we'll Same try. thing. <laughs> trying is better than not trying. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to... Yep, make sure you save it quick. the treatment part, yep. Yeah. I was like, better be quick. Okay. I am going to get going. Uh, yeah. I'm going to get going. I have to write this report thing. Um, and then, uh, yeah. Hope that was good. Can't wait for Wednesday because I got to see the new update thing for them. Even though technically I've been on the weekend, unless I unless I decide to do it tomorrow, kind of excited because I saw some things that I'm like, "Ooh, this could make hunting cool, there, <laughs> cooler." But yeah, uh, you guys and gals, everything in between. Have a great rest of your day. I really appreciate you being here. I know we just dealt with some major incident, believe it or not. Um, it doesn't happen very often. But it seems to always happen when there's a ducky around, which is kind of funny to me. Um, but I am, uh, I am going to get going. You guys stay safe. Have a great rest of your day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Like I said, who knows? I might actually, um, I do Red Dead tomorrow because update. And I almost thought about doing it today, and I, I don't think I can keep my hype up. I, like, I, I don't think I can, I can, I don't think I can, you know. <laughs> I don't think I can wait till Wednesday. <laughs> we'll see. Have a great rest of your day, guys. You guys stay safe. Make sure to go down below, click that subscribe, like, notification bell, I'd really appreciate it.